Hello, hello, hello. Uh. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hold on. We're having some technical difficulties. It's your girl. And I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back, I'm, I, I'm back, and <sighs> okay, y'all, how you doing, it's the day after Thanksgiving, this is Thanksgiving, ooh, Lord Jesus, ooh, blooper, let's try this again, it's the day after Valentine's Day, and this is leftover Valentine's Day dinner. And what we have is some baked chicken leg quarters, some cornbread muffin, some corn on the cob, and some spaghetti. All right, that was probably a horrible view. All right, y'all. So I'm going to dig in. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten this morning yet, this afternoon, so I'm going to dig right on in. I know I've been gone a couple days, y'all. Forgive me. It's just no, having no energy. The end of this pregnancy is just really putting a toll on me in my spaghetti I have ground beef and kielbasa sausage so good not as warm as I would like it I like my food piping hot But it'll do, because we ain't getting back up. So, how was everybody's day? Did everybody enjoy your Valentine's Day? I don't know why I wanted to say Thanksgiving. We way past that, right? I enjoy mine. Me and my beautiful daughters. Somebody took my hot sauce off the table. Ooh, that just fell right off the bone, didn't it? I feel like it's dark, like you can't see my food today. So, excuse me. We had um, cupcakes. We had edible arrangements. Um, Chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla-covered stra um, strawberries, which were, I like the chocolate best. And we had this meal. Good day. After we ate, the whole house went to sleep for hours. So, we had a pretty good, chill, family-oriented Valentine's Day. Was Mr. here? No. You 
guys know I put a halt to that I can admit it felt different um I guess knowing and accepting that this is my new life especially with bringing another baby into this world as a single mother but it wasn't like depressing or hurtful or anything. Because I got my babies. And they hold their mama down, y'all. So, that was my Valentine's Day. I was on um, social media a little bit, liking y'all pictures. Um, oh, we did end up ordering pizza at the end of the night. I did. Because I had watched so many pizza videos yesterday. With the heart-shaped pizzas. My kids was like, Mommy, we should order pizza. Child, I bet. <laughs> but, I ended up ordering the dinner box. So we ate more than we should have probably probably should have yesterday. But all in all, it was a good day. Huh? Don't talk about my Christmas mug. I know. It's Valentine's Day. Post Valentine's Day. Y'all, I'm full already. I guess the baby is getting bigger. And there's really no space in there for her. pre-pregnancy my tummy was flat as a board so with all my girls I don't get big real big I know some people be like you're so small to be eight months I'll take that Cause some of y'all be getting so big, y'all be stretching y'all stomachs out so much. And then after the baby, it don't necessarily snap back like you want it to. So child, I be appreciated with these small bellies. Sure do. And my babies be kind of small, too. Some of my noodles are hard, y'all. Battery. But, um... 
and I'm not body shaming anybody or anything like that, but I hope that didn't come across the room. So I got my bag ready. I just want to put a couple more things in there. And then I'll do my what's in my hospital bag. So I have a question. I want y'all to tell me in the comments. Excuse me. What type of video you want to see next from me? Should I do a pregnancy update? Show a little belly? Share a little news? Should I do a reaction video? Or a massive seafood boil or seafood boil or I know little mama you fool she like girl don't you put no more I am full y'all it's sad because I want to keep eating because it's so good Excuse me. <coughs> oh. <clears throat> but I don't want to overeat no more because yesterday I overate, y'all. And then caught myself taking a nap. I had so much indigestion. I literally thought I was going to throw up. I had to keep positioning myself and sitting up because I literally was going to throw up. And I'm like, I'm eight months pregnant. This is not supposed to be happening. I don't remember that happening with my other girls. <sighs> Feeling sick at the end. Well, my middle daughter, I think I do. Yeah, but not as much, you know. <clears throat> I tried to keep drinking water to suppress it. That wasn't working. I just was feeling sick, like the beginning of, you know, your pregnancy. So I think I'm going to stop overeating when my body says I'm full. I'm going to leave it at that. But I noticed since I've been doing mukbangs. Sorry, y'all. You try to eat all your food because that's what the people want to see. They want to see you eating all the food. Massive amounts of food. Mm. That's what mukbangs was. When it start, when the um, when the Asians started the mukbangs, they will have massive amounts of food and they will finish it all. Child, we done started to remix it, okay. <laughs> take a few bites and be like all right y'all but with the pregnancy i have found myself eating my plates yes i was y'all know a sister been tearing them plates down but y'all 
it's time for me to stop doing that. Because <clears throat> I don't want to feel the aftermath when I get off this camera. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, you guys. Let me know what you want to see next from me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've picked up uh, another habit. I have to have my eyes every day. Not only does it kind of suppress my appetite, <clears throat> but I don't know. I get some type of therapy out of chewing on ice. I just love it. So much so, my toddler, when she see me, you know, she be like, I want ice, mommy, I want ice. I was like this with her, though, too. I loved my ice. But when I was pregnant with her, I was stuck on that crushed ice from, I think it was, was it BP? I think it was BP. Crushed ice. And their chicken. The um, breast. The fried breast. And, and he knew, Mr. New, don't you come home without my cup of ice. And I want the big one. My cup of crushed ice. And my chicken breasts. Don't you come home because you, you might not get in. Okay. And if you do get in, you might be turning right back around to go pick it up. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. But with this baby, I just been tearing that thing down, honey. Because these mukbangs. What I see is what I want. And what I want is what I get. So, alright y'all. I'm going to wrap this video up. Under the under 20 minutes, I got full fast. I still love y'all. Thank you for being patient with me. I'm looking forward to picking things back up and getting where I need to be. I got about two months left before I make my year mark on youtube and i just came to the realization last night that i have been doing a lot of playing around what i mean by that is not taking things as serious because when i first started my mukbang channel it really was just for enjoyment it wasn't um to you know to be monetized or anything to be honest i didn't even know anything about that <laughs> so this journey has been a very good journey and I've learned a lot in regards to making this professional, making this a business. And I wish that I knew then what I know now because I wouldn't have procrastinated as much as I did with taking, at one point I had took like two months off in the beginning of my pregnancy I took for two months I probably loaded uploaded one or two videos so I wasn't consistent persistent taking things serious and I wish that I had not done that but